And I just wanted to show you your chart here because if you look at this at the moment and at the time and the, and the time and the place you were born, this is like taking a picture of the planets and how they were aligned at the time of your birth. And this is very unique to you. You would have, anyone else would have to be born exactly at the same moment, exactly at the same place as you, exactly on the same day, exactly the same year to have this. So this is very, very unique. I'm Susan Hughes, and I grew up in the western part of the state of Virginia. And my childhood was very normal, actually. Um, I had a mother at home who um, stayed at home with us, and my father was a self-employed businessman who owned many different businesses. I actually grew, grew up in a Baptist church, okay, and went to church every Sunday and um, Sunday school and the whole bit. My name is Jason McGang. I grew up in Charlottesville. Um, growing up, I grew up in an Irish Catholic family, first generation Irish here in the United States. Um, upbringing was between two households, between my mother and my father. Um, father's side was more into the metaphysical, into the intuitive side of things in life, whereas the f my mother's side of the family was very religious, very church-going people. So this side of doing stuff in metaphysics was brought up through my father's generations, and I used it, I used it around my father, not around my mother, but otherwise, like, just a normal upbringing, except when you go to your dad's, and that would be more of a metaphysical fun time. When I was about in my late 20s, uh, late 20s, late 20s, I started studying astrology. I just found it interesting. And I went through a period of not believing in anything. You know, I think about the age of 12 or 16, I kind of declared myself an atheist, you know. Um, and then, and I think that sometimes with a religious conditioning is kind of necessary because you have to go to one extreme to the other. And then I started opening up to, wow, there's a, there is something about a greater plan in life. And of course, when I was in college, I enjoyed philosophy, and I enjoyed the study of religion. And actually, my major in college was psychology and religion, because I liked studying the different types of religions, Buddhism, Taoism, things like that. Mm -hmm. Let's just say it came a time where I didn't buy the Christianity thing, you know, particularly Jesus as Savior, <laughs> you know. That didn't make any sense to me after a while. And so I wanted to explore the different types of religion, but always kind of as an observer, not really as a participant. But kind of like, what is this all about? You know, it can't, it has to be more than this. But nothing had ever satisfied me until then. Um, it became a part of my life around 14, 15, um, when I kept seeing my dad's cards and everything. And he finally sat down and started showing me his, uh, his tarot and started teaching me how to do different things. My history started just very basic with family and friends only, and then eventually I branched out into the public. Um, reading started, I guess, maybe even from a younger age when I would see little things when I was younger. My parents would tell me, you know, I would point to things that weren't there. I, I talked about people specifically that had been deceased for many years, and I was able to just reiterate when I was a toddler who they were. And it started from there on the mother's side of the family that was hushed out, but on the father's side, it was nurtured and it was believed to be normal. But on the mother's side, it was believed that it wasn't normal, it was just overreactive imagination. But starting from then, I guess it kind of got nurtured. And then, especially when I hit 14, 15, that's when it became more prevalent in my life. It's hard for me because I'm, I'm, this is so normal to me. And it's, it's interesting that it's abnormal to other people sometimes, I guess. I guess I don't know what it would be like to be without it. So I guess for me, it's just I feel normal in my day-to-day -day life. You know, when it's meant to be used and like I need to do it, I do it. And then if I'm just doing my everyday stuff like my research or if I'm doing any other work outside of like the metaphysical world, I just carry on like a normal person. Um, sometimes if I've been into a house, that there's a spirit lingering around, like I'll see something out of a corner of my eye or like I'll see it like physically in front of me. Um, growing up we did, where my parents moved in uh, Western Virginia, we did, like we moved into this old home and it was part of an old plantation out there and we would see a spirit once in a while that would just dart down the hallway in the upper level of the house. But then sometimes I could go downstairs and I wouldn't see them, but I just knew somebody was right behind me and I would just 
mentally get like a description of who they were and like what they did in the house. For me, in, in my overactive mind when I was a child, it helped calm my nerves down. I just looked at my friends coming for a visit. Oh, hey, there's a spirit. <laughs> um, astrology takes years of study to, you know, try to get a handle on. I mean, and it takes a lot of life experience to get a handle on. It's not just about predicting the future. It's about understanding the core essence of the individual and how you can help them, you know, in that area. So I'm not so much about predicting the future, even though there, I can see certain trends that may be coming, and then tarot, and then also um, numerology, and different other types of divination arts. You can pair those with it to help a person understand what's happening. Tarot is essentially finding the messages through cards, and then also runes are very specific to like the different things maybe you're going through in your life right then and there. And then medium, it would be someone that's connecting with a spirit that has passed on and is on the other side, whether it be a friend or a loved one or like an old generation, multi-generation family. Well, it's interesting. It's seeing people evolve and grow by understanding themselves and going deeper into understanding themselves and also understanding other people in their lives. And Because if you get a picture of, okay, this is kind of my path and the path I'm walking in this life, and this may be someone else's path, you stop trying to change everyone in your environment to suit you, you see, and you kind of accept them for who they are. So I see a lot of people go through those stages of a deeper understanding. I mean, particularly people, some people I see maybe every two weeks. Other people I may only see once a year, you know, and, it's, and some people I may only see once and they walk out, but they may come back five years later and say, wow, you know, that made a big difference and it took me in a totally different direction. There was a lady that came in, she was very, um, she was very quiet, she didn't talk to me much, and then immediately, like, there was a spirit that came through um, for me, and it, like, he just started shooting descriptions of everything down to his motorcycle, his favorite foods and everything, and just different key details that only she would know. And for her, she said that was like her father because she never had a dad growing up. And for her to be able to connect with him again and know that certain details to see her just not like break down crying and sadness, but in happiness to know that like he's still around her at all times was one. It's one of my most memorable times ever reading for somebody because it just it stands out so much. I don't really have a special gift. I just have a special interest. I think everybody has this gift. It just needs to be developed. You know, anyone that's interested, not everyone that's interested. But it's, there are certain people because of certain elements in the chart make them more psychically sensitive. I would refer to it as just, I guess, maybe a heightened sense, not as a, like, a power or anything, because I think it's meant to help people and power and titles that you have con better or more control maybe over someone else. And I believe that we're all equals. So I think it's just more so if certain people have it as a gift to help people in society. I think I heard a long time ago, destiny is only a path, but how you walk that path is up to you.